Clemens Food Group's Hatfield North facility is Food Engineering's 2023 Plant of the Year. Located on the company's main campus in Hatfield, Pennsylvania, the 308,000 square foot facility processes both raw and ready to eat pork products. The existing plant had old smokehouses, the, the, the heart of the operation, and they were in need of replacement. Most facilities you go from the outside in, we had to find a place to put these and then just build around it. And construction, you know, uh, these are large items. So, I mean, preserving a move-in path that allowed us to continue through construction, but also for the delivery of these and the assembly. When you look at what's up top, you know, there's just as much of this behind the wall and above the unit than there is actually that you're seeing here. The use of stainless steel throughout the facility, as well as limiting horizontal mechanical runs in the number of exposed bolts, keeps the facility clean by offering fewer places for bacterial buildup and making washdowns more effective. As important as the hygiene measures were in the design, equal attention was paid to employee welfare. Ergonomics played an important role in the production floor's design. Making the machinery instead of the employee do the work is carried out through such processes as moving the ham stakes, where a conveyor moves the product to the staffer at approximately waist height, who then moves the ham stake to the rack. That rack is then raised once it's full, meaning the employee never has to lift product above his or her head. People moving the racks of hanging meat for the bacon injection and forming process use racks that come apart. As the meat comes out of the conveyor, workers on a platform hang them on racks at approximately waist height. Once a rack is full, a machine pulls that rack to approximately head height, where additional racks of bacon can be hung below. While this wouldn't necessarily be something seen in a plant that produces only bacon, in a processing plant as diverse as Hatfield North, the design helps workers that much more. This is again repeated in the packaging process with stacked tiers of conveyors, where boxes that have come out of the case erector are at approximately head height, retrieved by an employee who drops them to a conveyor at waist height, who then pulls the product off of a third conveyor at chest height straight into the box. Other aspects of Hatfield North have benefited employee welfare just as ergonomics have. But then there's also things where we've been able to automate. A great example is uh, robotics in our uh, sausage palletizing area, robotics on our ham steak slicing. It's a great blend of both and it really does allow us to grow at, you know, competitively. Our expectations are high for this facility, that we can aggressively grow our sales and our customers' sales in the key categories of bacon, ham, and sausage. In a modern day plant, you've got to be able to build with a balance of labor, human capital, and then also technology. And what's great about this plan is we've got both. You know, there are jobs that just, there'll always be jobs that people need to do. This business is a pennies business. Uh, we lose business at times for a penny a pound difference in, in pricing. And so you have to build for scale. You've, you have to build for the ability to do things efficiently and well. And that's what this facility is built for.